Good morning. So we are up at, we were up at four o'clock, but the time now is 4.51. We are heading to Little Adam's Peak now for sunrise. It's deserted, the shoots are so quiet. Um, There's literally not a soul around. I was yeah. expecting like a few more travellers here and there trekking. But yeah, there's no one around at all. It's so quiet. Yeah, so hopefully it's going to be easy for us to find and we can just make our way up to Little Adam's Peak. We've heard it's amazing. The views this morning would be, well, the views in the morning are stunning apparently. So There's not a cloud in the sky, which means we should get a full view of the sunrise as well, which is good, good news. Yeah, so fingers crossed that we can find it okay. So we've made it to the base of Little Adam's Peak. We are now just going to walk up. I think it's about a 10 minute walk. So we'll see you at the top. So we've made it to the top of Little Adam's Peak and there's actually no one else up here, which I'm really surprised about because I thought there'd be a few tourists because we got told that sunrise here was amazing. So I'm surprised we're the only tourists here. As you can see, the sun is coming up slightly behind. Hopefully it won't be long now until sunrise. It did say online that it was at six, but our host did say anywhere between um, 5.15 and 5.45. So we're just waiting now for sunrise. We have got ourselves a little spot here, a nice comfy spot on the rock. So yeah, now we wait. Are you having a nice time? Unreal, so good. So busy now though, compared to earlier. The sun still hasn't come up yet. Yeah. Almost, and the time is 6.04, so it's coming any minute. <laughs> so the sun has finally come up now. We will be on our way to Nine Arches Bridge shortly. Um, just got to make our way down Little Adam's Peak now. So. Apparently it's only like a 30, 35 minute walk, which is uh, a lot shorter than what it took us to get here. So it must be just pretty much over the, one of those directions. Yeah, hopefully. It doesn't take long at all. And it's but all it downhill from here, which is a... Uh, good for us. Good, very good for yeah, us. Yeah, we have been up since four o'clock. Sun hiking came up probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hiking uphill. Sun came up at probably, uh, what, morning. six? How are you? Uh, good, thank you. Um, yeah, sun came up at about 6.05, I think. So... We were waiting a long time, but it did get a lot busier and we weren't the only ones, which was really nice, actually. We joined by some little stray dogs as well, which was cute. So many dogs. So many dogs. I don't know how they got up here, how they would want to come up here either, to be honest. But we are just making a nice slow walk down Little Adam's Peak now to Nine Arches Bridge. So I will be filming that as well. This was actually really difficult to do in the dark. We were just solely relying on phone torches because, as you can see, there's no... Streets, uh, street lamps or anything, street lights. So doing this in the dark was very difficult and do recommend some walking shoes or trainers because it's not easy in anything, anything else. <laughs> so on our walk to Nine Arches Bridge, we have walked past a resort called 98 Acres Resort. It looks very expensive and very nice. It's like in the center of everything, isn't it? Yeah, um, it was actually unreal. The it was unreal. Was so nice. We just had a quick look at booking.com and I think nights average at about £200 a night. But, um, I don't know if you can see that. Let me take this out. 98 Acres Resort. It's right in the middle of um, Nine Arches Bridge and Little Adams Peak. So it's probably like prime location. But it is really, really nice. And one day, hopefully, we will stay in it. The work is really friendly as well, so yeah, really nice. So definitely check that out if you can, and if you're not on a budget, because it looks insane. So again, we're having a bit of a crisis with Google Maps. Apple Maps doesn't actually let you pinpoint where you need to go, which is a bit frustrating. So Google Maps kind of shows you where you need to go, but a lot of the roads, I think, are old or don't exist anymore. Um, so we might get a bit lost, but again, we're just trying to find our way by following the map, following where we need to go, but it was probably taking us in the completely wrong direction. So Nine Arches Bridge has been spotted behind those trees. I see it right in the distance down there. <laughs> right in the distance. So we are now just heading down um, and hopefully you can see it in there. 
it looks empty, which might be one of the benefits of doing the uh, Little Adam's Peak just before. Oh, I can see tourists. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, Let's okay. That <laughs> just broke too soon. Yeah. As you can see, we've been sent this way down by one of the locals who says it's a shortcut to the Nine Arches Bridge. So, again, not that safe, but we'll get down there eventually. So there is actually quite a few people down there and apparently a train is coming in the next five minutes so we are going to hopefully go down as fast as we can to try and catch it but nice little walk this actually okay that's fine thank you so much so again we have been Fed wrong information. Misinformed. <laughs> Misinformed. Well, no, no. And we did just run down there, try and make a train, but the train won't be coming until about 9.50, he says 9.30 or something like that. So it's now only what, like seven o'clock? Yeah, 20 um, past seven. 20 past seven, so it's still pretty early. We are now walking towards the actual arches themselves, but as you can see, we have made it down to the train tracks. Um, I'm really excited for this actually. Yeah. We see photos online all the time. So to actually be here and see it mm -hmm. first hand is yeah. pretty amazing, isn't it? It looks like a good viewpoint if you walk all the way down as well and you can look up into them. Let's try and find how you get down Oh there. yeah, of course. It's, it's honestly incredible. pretty amazing. They call it Bridge in the Sky. Yeah. And you can actually see why. Because <laughs> you were literally kind of hovering above all of this. All the bushes. And they also have, which we've just noticed, some amazing little pods up there which probably have the best view oh yeah oh no so we yeah dan has just said that apparently this bridge is famous for bee stings so there's, there's a guy flying a drone so i think he's now just being attacked by bees so there is actually a famous video of people getting stung on nine arches bridge um you could probably search it on youtube and you'd find it but as you can see they are bee hives hanging from the bridge and a guy up there flying a drone has just been stung so we've got to be careful not to aggravate them as we don't want the same thing to happen to us like a lot of them with my drone because yeah. when i'm flying there they are attacking yeah. and i was coming back and then i don't know the bee realized that i was the, <laughs> the drone master <laughs> like it got stuck in my wristband and then the, the big um like that so we've come for a little juice stop. I've gone for the coconut passion fruit. Dan has gone for the lime. The most annoying thing as well is we have just seen a train go past and someone, it's really late actually, someone did say that there was one due at 6.50. It's now eight o'clock. So I think either it's really late or they have one that comes at eight, but online it does say that one doesn't come until half nine. And we also passed someone who said it wouldn't come until 9.15 or whatever. So that one was a bit of a surprise. So we are up on the top deck of a bar just having these drinks. Now for a slow walk back to our homestay for breakfast. Because it's what now, half eight maybe? literally half eight on the dot half eight on the dot i'm going so good so we will hopefully be going back to some sort of string hoppers or delicious Sri Lankan breakfast and then maybe nap for a bit mm -hmm. before we kind of figure out the rest of the plans for today so we've now got back to our homestay where our lovely host has made us some breakfast it looks unreal, it looks unreal. i think we've got papaya fruit here yeah fresh Vegetable rotu there. Oh, I can't and wait for that. Then a fresh vegetable kotu and egg mm. kotu there, which looks unreal. Yes, yeah, so we are going to eat all of this, probably head for a hour or so nap, yep. and then just chill for the rest of the day because we head off to Yala tomorrow. We'll be going to the national park, seeing some elephants and some leopards. Leopards, you can't Hopefully. wait for the leopards. Hopefully. Um, so, yeah, we're super excited for that, but for now, let's eat. <laughs> 